What is up? This is your LA in a Minute here with the LA Taco Neighborhood Project in one of my favorite communities in Los Angeles, San Fernando. San Fernando is the birthplace of the San Fernando Valley and it has a long, deep, and rich history with some great stories. So, let's get into it. San Fernando acquired its name from the San Fernando Mission, which was established in 1797. But prior to that, the Gabrieleno and Tatavian people lived here since at least the year 1150 in a village called Achoi Cominga, which meant people facing the south. Hmm. So San Fernando was technically founded in 1874 by George McClay. He had purchased 56,000 acres of the ex Rancho San Fernando Mission land grant and began to subdivide the land, especially as the railroads were coming in connecting San Fernando to the rest of Northern California. Now, it is said that McClay illegally displaced and removed the Tataviam native people who were still here on this land at that point. Hmm. San Fernando is also home to the Lopez Adobe, one of the oldest existing structures in the San Fernando Valley and the first two-story residential structure. It was built by Valentin Lopez and given to his sister Catalina and her husband Geronimo, who were a prominent family in the area and opened the first English-speaking school and post office in San Fernando. So this is not the Lopez constructed post office, but this was built in 1934 and is just a great example of the unique architecture and great community of San Fernando. San Fernando is fiercely independent, incorporated into its own city in 1911. The reason is the abundant groundwater. While the rest of the San Fernando Valley was being annexed by Los Angeles because they needed to use the LA aqueduct, San Fernando had its own independent water supply. In fact, in the mid 20th century, San Fernando tried to annex Mission Hills, Pacoima, and Silmar. Wow. Okay, this is awesome. Nondescript monument right here on Foothill and Vaughn for the Griffith Ranch. David Wark Griffith was the first great filmmaker in the entire motion picture industry. His methods were revolutionary and he filmed some great films right here at what was the Griffith Ranch, including Custer's Last Stand and Birth of a Nation. Wow. Perhaps most representative of San Fernando's independent spirit as a community is the San Fernando Mall. This place has been around since at least 1910 before San Fernando was incorporated and it's a strip of stores. It's where the community gathers and it's a great representation of San Fernando to this day. Another interesting part of San Fernando's history is here in Silmar at Veterans Memorial Park. Well, this was San Fernando when they built the San Fernando Veterans Hospital in 1926, the first veterans hospital on the West Coast. Unfortunately, the building was severely damaged in the 1971 Silmar San Fernando earthquake and had to be demolished. So San Fernando really is historic and unique and one of the great communities in Los Angeles. All right, LA, it's been a minute.